The world lost a comedy legend recently. Perry Kurtz, known for his infectious laughter and unique style, passed away at 73. His passing leaves a void in the hearts of many, but his legacy of laughter will live on forever. Perry dedicated his life to making people smile. He brought joy to audiences for decades. Perry was more than just a comedian, he was a true performer, he lit up every stage he graced, his energy was contagious, and his passion for comedy was undeniable. Perry had a gift for connecting with people. He could make anyone laugh, no matter their background. His humor was both witty and relatable. He found humor in everyday situations, and he wasn't afraid to push boundaries. Perry was a true original, he paved his own path in the world of comedy and he inspired countless others along the way. Perry's journey to comedic stardom wasn't always easy. He faced numerous challenges and setbacks along the way, but his determination never wavered. He was born and raised in a small town. Life there was simple, filled with familiar faces and routines. The community was tight-knit, and everyone knew each other, but Perry yearned for something more. He often found himself daydreaming about a life beyond the confines of his small town, imagining the possibilities that lay ahead. He felt a calling to entertain. From a young age he was drawn to the world of comedy, finding joy in making others laugh and bringing smiles to their faces, and he knew he had to take a leap of faith. Leaving behind the comfort and security of his hometown, Perry decided to chase his dreams, no matter how uncertain the path ahead seemed. In his early 20s Perry made a bold move. With nothing but a suitcase and a heart full of ambition, he set out on a journey that would change his life forever. He packed his bags and headed west to San Francisco. The city, known for its vibrant art scene and eclectic culture, seemed like the perfect place to start anew. The city was a hub for artists and performers. Everywhere he looked, there was inspiration, from the street performers to the bustling art studios. It was the perfect place for Perry to hone his craft. The comedy clubs and open mic nights provided him with the platform he needed to test his material and grow as a performer. He started performing at open mics and small clubs. Each performance was a learning experience, helping him refine his act and connect with his audience. He was eager to learn. Perry spent hours studying comedy routines, taking notes and analyzing what made people laugh. And he wasn't afraid of hard work, he rehearsed tirelessly, often performing multiple takes until he got it just right. Perry spent countless hours developing his act. He tried new material, constantly pushing the boundaries of his creativity. He experimented with different characters. Each one brought a new dimension to his performances, allowing him to explore various comedic styles. And he learned from his fellow comedians. The camaraderie and support from the comedy community in San Francisco were invaluable to his growth. San Francisco became Perry's comedic playground. The city's diverse audience provided him with endless opportunities to test his material and refine his craft. It was where he found his voice. Each performance brought him closer to understanding his unique comedic style and what resonated with his audience, and it was where he began to make a name for himself. The applause and recognition he received were testaments to his hard work and dedication, marking the beginning of his journey to stardom. Perry's talent couldn't be contained to small clubs for long, his early performances in these intimate settings were just the beginning. The laughter and applause he received were a testament to his raw talent and unique comedic style. It was clear to everyone who saw him that Perry had something special, something that was destined to reach far beyond the confines of these small venues. His reputation as a rising star began to spread. Word of mouth traveled fast and soon, people were talking about this new comedian who could make any room burst into laughter. His ability to connect with the audience, his quick wit, and his relatable humor made him a favorite among comedy enthusiasts. He started getting booked at bigger venues. The transition from small clubs to larger stages was seamless for Perry. His confidence grew with each performance, and so did his fan base. The larger the audience, the more energy he seemed to have, feeding off the crowd's reactions and delivering punchline after punchline with impeccable timing. And soon, he caught the attention of national audiences. His name began to appear in comedy circuits across the country, and people started to take notice. Perry's unique style and undeniable talent were impossible to ignore, and it wasn't long before he was being scouted for television appearances. In 2013, Perry appeared on America's Got Talent. This was a pivotal moment in his career. The exposure from the show introduced him to millions of viewers who had never seen his act before. It was a chance to showcase his talent on a national stage, and he did not disappoint. He took the stage with his signature confidence and charm. 
From the moment he walked out, he had the audience in the palm of his hand. His jokes were sharp, his delivery was flawless, and his presence was magnetic. Perry knew how to work a crowd, and he did it with ease. His act was hilarious and memorable. Every joke landed perfectly, and the audience couldn't stop laughing. Perry's ability to read the room and adjust his performance accordingly was a skill that set him apart from other comedians. He knew exactly what his audience wanted, and he gave it to them in spades. He even wrapped in a sparkly silver suit. This unexpected twist in his performance left the audience in stitches. It was a bold move that showcased his versatility and willingness to take risks. Perry wasn't just a one-trick pony, he was a multi-talented performer who could surprise and delight his audience in ways they never saw coming. Perry didn't win the competition. Despite his incredible performance, the competition was fierce, and the judges had a tough decision to make. But even though he didn't take home the top prize, Perry's time on the show was far from a loss. But he won the hearts of viewers across the country. The standing ovations and heartfelt reactions from the audience were proof of his impact. People connected with Perry on a personal level, and his fan base grew exponentially. He had made a lasting impression that would carry him forward in his career. A few years later, Perry got another big break. His persistence and dedication to his craft paid off when he received an invitation to perform on another major platform. This opportunity was a testament to his growing influence in the comedy world. He was invited to perform on The Late Late Show with James Corden. This was another significant milestone in his career. Performing on a late-night talk show meant reaching an even wider audience and solidifying his place in the comedy scene. He had the audience in stitches with his unique brand of humor. Perry's performance on The Late Late Show was a hit. His jokes were fresh, his delivery was on point, and the audience couldn't get enough. It was clear that Perry had found his stride and was thriving in the spotlight. He even played Louie Louie on a guitar using only his tongue. This quirky and unexpected act became one of the highlights of his performance. It was a perfect example of Perry's creativity and willingness to push the boundaries of traditional comedy. These national appearances solidified Perry's status as a comedic force. His performances on America's Got Talent and The Late Late Show showcased his versatility and talent to a national audience. Perry was no longer just a rising star, he was a recognized name in comedy. He wasn't just a comedian's comedian anymore. Perry had earned the respect and admiration of his peers, and his influence in the comedy world continued to grow. He was now performing alongside some of the biggest names in the industry, and his star was only rising. He was a household name. Perry's journey from small clubs to national television was a testament to his talent, hard work, and dedication. He had achieved what many comedians only dream of, and his future looked brighter than ever. Perry's comedy was truly one of a kind. He had a way of captivating audiences with his unique style and infectious energy. From the moment he stepped on stage, you knew you were in for a treat. He had a knack for finding humor in unexpected places. Whether it was a mundane daily activity or an unusual situation, Perry could always find a way to make it funny. He wasn't afraid to be silly. He embraced the absurd. His willingness to go to extremes for a laugh set him apart from other comedians. He would make the silliest faces and perform the most outlandish acts, all in the name of comedy. And he always stayed true to himself. Perry's authenticity shone through in every performance. He never tried to be someone he wasn't, and that genuine quality resonated with his audience. One of his most memorable characters was Disco Perry. This character was a fan favorite and showcased Perry's versatility as a performer. He would don a sparkly jumpsuit, platform shoes, and an afro wig. The transformation was complete, and the audience loved every minute of it. He would then proceed to tell jokes and dance to disco music. The combination of humor and dance was a hit, and it never failed to get the crowd laughing and clapping along. It was ridiculous and hilarious. The absurdity of Disco Perry's antics was what made it so entertaining. Perry knew how to push the boundaries of comedy without going too far. Perry was also a master of physical comedy. His ability to use his body to generate laughs was unparalleled. He could contort his body into hilarious positions. His physicality added an extra layer to his performances, making them even more engaging. He wasn't afraid to fall down or make funny faces. Perry understood that sometimes the most basic physical actions could elicit the biggest laughs. He knew that sometimes, actions speak louder than words. His physical comedy was a testament to his understanding of this principle. But Perry's comedy wasn't just about being funny, it was also about connecting with his audience on a deeper level. It was also about being relatable. 
Perry had a way of making his audience feel seen and understood. He found humor in everyday situations. Whether it was the struggles of daily life or the quirks of human behavior, Perry could always find a way to make it funny. He talked about his family, his pets, and the little things that make life both challenging and wonderful, and his struggles with technology. Perry's jokes about technology were particularly relatable in today's digital age. He reminded us that we're all in this together. His comedy brought people together, creating a sense of community and shared experience. In the end, Perry's unique brand of comedy left a lasting impression. His ability to blend absurdity with authenticity, physical comedy with relatable humor, made him a standout performer. He wasn't just a comedian, he was a storyteller, a connector, and a true entertainer. Perry's legacy lives on through the laughter he brought to so many. His performances were more than just shows, they were experiences that touched the hearts of everyone who watched, and for that, he will always be remembered. Perry's success wasn't just due to his natural talent, he was also incredibly dedicated to his craft. He was always working on new material. He would try out new jokes at open mics, he would spend hours watching stand-up specials, and he was always looking for ways to improve. Perry was a true student of comedy. He studied the greats, he understood the importance of timing, delivery, and stage presence, and he was always willing to share his knowledge with others. He mentored countless young comedians, he would offer advice, encouragement, and support. He wanted to see others succeed, and he knew that the comedy community was stronger together. Perry's dedication to comedy was an inspiration to all who knew him. He showed us that with hard work, passion, and a good sense of humor, anything is possible. While Perry was known for his larger-than-life persona on stage, he was also a devoted family man. He cherished his wife and children above all else. They were his rock and they provided him with the love and support he needed to pursue his dreams. Perry often talked about his family and his act. He would share funny anecdotes about his kids, he would poke fun at his wife's quirks, but it was always done with love and affection. His family was incredibly proud of his accomplishments. They would often travel with him to his shows, they were his biggest fans, and they were always there to cheer him on. Perry's love for his family was evident in everything he did. He was a devoted husband, a loving father, and a loyal friend. He will be deeply missed by all who knew him. Perry Kurtz may be gone, but his legacy will live on forever. He left an indelible mark on the world of comedy. He inspired countless comedians, and he brought joy to millions of people around the world. Perry's unique brand of humor will continue to entertain us for years to come. His dedication to his craft will inspire future generations of comedians, and his kindness and generosity will never be forgotten. The next time you need a good laugh, remember Perry Kurtz. Remember his...